creature from another planet, Skull doesn't look so bad, does he? <laughs> so what happened? The answer lies in a mathematical formula for explaining kin selection as a form of genetic evolution. But it could also explain who you'll be compassionate towards and who you won't. Sound hard to believe? Scientists have known for a long time that we're more likely to help people who remind us of, well, us. Our ancestors assumed that people who looked like us were more likely to be relatives, and thus were more worthy of our helping hand because it furthered our own genetic code. So what's this magical equation? Benefit times relation is greater than cost. What that means is, the benefit of helping the person times your relationship to that person must be greater than the cost of helping them for your brain to automatically tell you to lend a hand. Think about it. Are you more likely to help family and friends than a total stranger? Of course. The potential benefit is much greater than the cost if you help someone you're familiar with. This is the formula that determines why we might be compassionate to someone else. The more similar someone is to you, the greater likelihood you'll lend them a hand. All that insight in one little equation. Amazing. But what about growing compassion if it's not there to start with? As you're about to see in this next game, we've brought in some volunteers to conduct a simple experiment to test people's compassion. You're gonna go this way and to the first door on the left. Great, thanks. First step is to check in, then sit down with our scientist. So what you have in front of you is a bowl of chili. It is going to be eaten by another test subject. That subject does not get paid unless he eats the entire bowl of chili. In this experiment, there are three hot sauce options. Mild, medium, and death. Participants can put as much or as little as they want. That's a one-way mirror, so the test subject cannot see which you choose. Gotcha. So what would you do if you were given this choice? Well, this volunteer chooses the mild hot sauce. Seems reasonable since the default setting for most people is to show compassion. That's it, that's it. But is there anything we can do to make mostly compassionate people take the low road? Two lanes, man. They say revenge is a dish best served cold. Look ahead. You can't see me? No. But in this case, it's gonna be hot. We're putting these volunteers' compassion to the test by asking them to choose which of three hot sauce options they want to serve a total stranger. Hmm. Earlier, we saw our volunteer show compassion by choosing the mild sauce. That's it, that's it. But now we're going to change up this experiment and see if we can provoke a different compassion reaction. First room on the left here. Okay, thanks. Thank you. you. Yo, two lanes, man. Did you see that? This guy practically ran over our volunteer. As you might have suspected, this experiment consists of several hidden cameras, and everyone, from the receptionist to the scientist and the loud, obnoxious guy, are in on it. Now let's see which hot sauce this volunteer picks. So what you have in front of you is a bowl of chili. It's the same experiment as before, deciding which hot sauce to feed a total stranger. And now, it's time for our volunteer to meet this guy. And that is a one-way mirror. The subject cannot see. Okay. Please proceed. So what would you do if some guy just ran you over and didn't even apologize? Two lanes, man. Would you seek revenge? Remember, he can't see you. So would you go with mild, medium, or death? Wow, with no hesitation, this guy is adding a lot of death sauce. Looks like he's throwing compassion right out the window. Here we go. Okay. And he wasn't the only one. Watch where you're going. Please proceed. Death it is again. 